Hey! Hey! I'm Mr. O, here with another. Oh, wow! A moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. Wow, great flight, almost a straight line. Thanks. Yeah, it was straight, but it makes me wonder, how could we make it turn? Ah, great question, and all we need is airflow and wing shape. By the way, in this episode, we're talking about paper airplanes, not real airplanes. Because of the obvious size, weight, and design differences, paper airplanes are gonna behave differently than real airplanes. Air is made of matter, mostly nitrogen, with some oxygen, carbon dioxide, and several other gases. Because it is made of matter, it can exert a force on things. For example, if we run air through these tubes using the fans, the air can lift and spin coffee filters all around. We can harness the force air exerts by changing the shape of the paper airplane wings. Specifically, we're gonna add ailerons. Ailerons are special flaps that can raise above the wing or drop below the wing. When ailerons are above the wing, air flows over the surface of the wing and pushes the aileron, making the wing lift. But when the aileron is below the wing, the paper airplane wing will drop. Let me show it to you a different way. Before we begin, remember, science is fun, but it can also be dangerous, so always have a responsible adult helping you. First, we need to build a paper airplane. To do this, first fold a normal size sheet of paper in half, then unfold. Next, fold the middle of one side of the sheet of paper towards the middle fold. Repeat on the opposite side. Now take the folded edge and bring that towards the center. Fold the new edge. Repeat on the opposite side. Refold the center crease. Fold down the wings on each side to about half an inch before the crease. Fold the wings back up. Make a one quarter inch cut through both wings about three quarters of an inch from the top of the paper and about a half an inch from the wing crease. These are your ailerons. Fold the wings back down. Finally, add a bit of tape to the center of your plane. So if you fold the ailerons down, the plane will go down. And if you fold both ailerons up, the plane will go up. So what do you think would happen if you fold only one aileron up? Or only one down? Or fold one up and one down? Can you figure out how to get the plane to turn left? To turn right? To barrel roll? To do the loop-the-loop? -loop? Well, go try it! This has been another Oh Wow Moment from the Children's Museum of Houston. We hope your mind can come out to play.